Trifel. Young player but experienced. Has some good rec a good record behind him. Over the top. Flicking one way, the ball going the other, and going for four. Looked like uh, they didn't pick it up in the slip corner. That went between keeper and first slip. Trying to hit that through mid wicket. Got a leading edge. When, when a batsman is playing to the leg side, you know, on the offside of the slips, you're, you're looking for it to go where he intended, and uh, all of a sudden comes off the, the leading edge or the back of the bat, scoots away for four. Just over the head of the keeper. That's going to go for four as well. Well, this is what happens. But they've lost two wickets already. And with this sort of adventure from the Bangladeshis, there's always the opportunity of a wicket. And they clearly just going to keep coming, playing their shots. That was a hook shot. Helped it along his way. Used the pace. Got it very fine in the end after that. Another useful boundary. into the fifth over and there's still another over to go after this in which the West Indies could only have two fielders outside the restricting area he's hit that well let's go for four so we've had three fours in succession here trouble for the West Indies again Magnanesh up with the required run rate Three fours of the first three deliveries of Darren Powell. Shot. Shot. Finishes off a very expensive over. Astrophal. 46 for two off five overs. He's a set. Magnificent. He played these in the World Cup. Astrophal against South Africa. It's gone all the way for six. Here's a young man that will delight you and give you value for money as a spectator and anti Bangladeshis. It's a fantastic shot. Out of seven deliveries he has faced, he's got four four and a sixes. And look at that. Going under it and he's scooping it all the way to the party finally. What a shot. Can he stay over? Tell the NMC is side two. That's what most of the Bangladeshis back home and also here would be looking forward to. Well, he knows where the field is, he manipulates the field, there's a short fine leg, he's hit the six, the fine leg has to go back to an orthodox position. And then he hits it over mid-off. That is what you call manipulating the field. He's some player. It's a fantastic cricket shot. He's on the uh, scooping hit with the previous one, but it, uh, if you take a look at that shot, he used the bowler to pitch it up because he knows exactly the field is going. He hit it over the top of the infielder at the mid-off. Look at the delight on the face of the crowd. Look at that. That is a good cricketing shot. Super one. Another four. Very good platform set here by Bangladesh in chasing this total. 106 more needed. That's it, Hi. Can't find leg get there. Fidel Edwards is under it. Dan, he's dropped it. What do you believe? Six overs gone. Bangladesh have 60 for two. Same things that played the West Indies the other night. Critical catches going down. They worked at it assiduously at practice yesterday. Edwards made good ground and got there. The end result is disappointment. This could uh, be a very expensive miss. That was at the bat of Mohamed Ashraful, who is looking really dangerous. He got into a good position, but then just fell. Lost his footing. There it goes. At the last moment, just... Great shot. And I don't say that lightly. Nice, clean, straight hit. It's what the West Indies would have wanted, trying to get them to hit straighter rather than across. But on that occasion, it's kicked well by Ashford. Yes, when he's in song, it's fantastic to watch. No shortage of talent. Look at that. Thank you very much. You still need to put them away. But putting them away in style is the key from Mohamed Ashraful. well because there's a long off and he's decided to pick the slow ball and loft it wide of where a long one 
would have been. Fantastic shot uh, from Mama Rashi. Well, I think you get the key in his batting is that he picks it up very, very early. He picks the length very early and just toys with the ball. Look at that. Right from the meat of the bat. Super little. 71 required from 61 balls for Bangladesh to send the West Indies packing. Oh, this will go far, this will go long, this will go into the Bangladesh supporting crowd. 10 overs gone, 98 for two Bangladesh on their way. Yes, Mahmoud Ashrafal, the Bangladesh captain, leading from the front. so very well. The ball travels far at altitude. Johannesburg, he can feel the potential of what lies ahead of him. From 23. It's got a mile. It's gone for six. And that is an amazing half century. It's the fastest in 2020 history. It is extraordinary batting by the captain. Has an eye like a hawk, wrist like to the end, which is turned from which it's turned. Yeah, yes. Captain's done it. He's got a wicket. He's broken the partnership. The question is, is it too late? Could well be. Mohammed Ashrafal going. Chris Gill holds in the catch. But the third wicket falls, but they. They need just 28 more from 34 deliveries. What an innings from Mohamed Ashfal. The fastest half century in 2020 in the national. 61 of 27 deliveries.